I interviewed the communications director from the Clinton campaign mm -hmm. last night, um, and she she told me in unequivocal terms that as far as they understand how the election went, and this has been corroborated by independent pollsters like Nate Silver and others, mm -hmm. um, when FBI Director James Comey uh, sent his letter about Hillary Clinton a week and a half before the election. The Clinton team really believes, based on their data, that that was decisive, that that, mm -hmm. that more than any other intervention of any kind at the end of the election is why they lost. Um, and I know this is very well trod ground, I know this is a very controversial issue, but aren't there Department of Justice rules um, about not doing things right before an election that are going to be perceived as having either a partisan intention or a partisan consequence. Aren't, aren't there rules in place that should have stopped him from doing that? Well, this, this is, you know, there's been a lot of coverage of this, and I'm sure there will be a lot of coverage and analysis as we look back uh, on the entire election and, and, and all the things that occurred. Um, yes, there are Department of Justice policies, and there, there are reasons why. I mean, the director has expressed his reasons why um, he went the way that he did. I'll let him speak for himself uh, on that one. And again, I think this is going to be analyzed um, in, the, in the weeks and months. Uh, there'll be a lot of writing on this, and, mm -hmm. and, I think, and I think I look forward to reading about it as well. Were you involved but, um, at all in that decision or in the negotiations internally in terms of whether or not he could or should do that? Well, I can tell you that um, the issue was, was discussed um, at the highest levels of the department. I'm at those levels. Um, you know, we don't go into our internal discussions and deliberations, of course, um, but I can tell you that it was, it was an issue that was taken very, very seriously by department leadership, and I believe very seriously by Director Comey as well. But he's spoken about that, and I'm going to let him continue to, to provide his reasons for that. Am, am I right to decide that the bottom line here is that it was not, that it was an FBI decision decision to release that letter. It should not be seen as a DOJ decision to release that letter. Is there a dif was there a difference between the two of you on it? Um, yeah, I made my views known, um, and that's, that's been reported on. Um, and, um, and I think that, as I said before, um, everyone, I think, took all those issues extremely seriously um, at every level of the department and at every level of the FBI. Mm -hmm. Rachel speaking with U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch yesterday. The Attorney Gen General refusing to say whether FBI Director James Comey's decision to release that letter upending the 2016 presidential race in the process was in direct defiance of the Justice Department and of Loretta Lynch herself, though it has been reported as such. As of now, the Attorney General has chosen not to say publicly what happened here or how sharply she rebuked the FBI director when it happened, but Director Comey does remain in his job. And now there's the matter of not just how much Director Comey's letter may have interfered with the election, but Vladimir Putin. There's also still a lot to be determined in terms of just how much damage this year has caused to our electoral process moving forward. In the meantime, stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.